One from the text machine. Yes. It says Q for D. Yeah. All right. More guys, I don't know where if this is true or not. More guys are being caught for PEDs. Is it because more players are using them or is the testing better? Uh, I'm how, not, would you, how would you answer that? Uh, is that first, true? I'm not sure. Yeah. Plus, I, I'm not sure about either. That's yeah, just his question. I don't, I don't think he's right about more guys are being uh, caught. Um, but is the testing better? I don't think the testing's changed. Okay. All right. Yeah. There's your answer. Uh, it will give us the stat. Where's what's the status of the agreement? How many more years do we have left on it? On the CBA like, twenty one. So like it's coming. It's, it's coming close. Yeah. No, we're getting ready. Right. We're getting ready. No, this will be I, all look, war. I, I just think you you ha- the best way to not have a war is to prepare for one. Yep. And and you know hopefully we uh, I think it would be smart for us for our business. Uh, to figure this out because there's a lot of things changing on the horizon. Obviously, gambling is is a thing that's on the horizon. Yeah, first and foremost, um, let's clap that up. Golf clap for that. Clap mm. that more than a golf clap. You know, there's just some stuff I don't see coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, come um, on, it's been happening for years. Yeah, let's just make it I legal. Just, I just by yeah, the way, the yeah, NFL just, loves it. Gambling. Yeah, wow, <laughs> that, that's the part I just didn't see <laughs> yes. coming. Wow. Uh, <laughs> alcohol sales. You guys just want to jump in right oh, now? Oh yeah, you yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. Um, as long as you drink responsibly. Yeah, Respons- of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when's the when's the holiday show coming up? Oh, that's what well, we are responsible because we have rides. Wait, that's true. From that's true. Uh, yeah, and um, <laughs> so I mean, look, that's a changing horizon. The fact is, television is changing. Uh, the right. way in which our fans are uh, taking in our show, the demographics on watching the show is is changing. So I think it's smart for us to. Try to figure all those things out and figure those things out with respect to the. League has issues. Get into a fight and then have the. Is um, impact us in a negative way. Do you remember how weird and groundbreaking it it was? At least to me, like this is probably five or seven. Years. Game on Yahoo uh, in the morning for right. blood. That's that's that the nuts? new that's the new reality. That's, that's the new norm. That's the how new many games way are going to be? Business. How many games are going to be in London this year? Last year there was at least three, right? Yeah, I think there's three or four, or maybe yeah. one in Mexico. I didn't know that there was going to be a quiz. Right <laughs> here today, but, I just thought uh, you'd know something. Yeah, yeah I mean something. <laughs> um, uh, there will be a game in London. Um, look, internationally, do I think that we should uh, be looking at other international markets? Yes, um, the the game in Mexico was huge. Um, there's a huge fan following there. Um, so I think, you know, going back to your question, I think it's smarter for us from a business standpoint to to take control of our own destiny rather than getting into a fight and letting those things be uh, uncontrolled. Would you forces. guys, uh, I don't, would you, if you had the opportunity and you could get the owners to sign off on 10 more years for the same agreement, would you do that? Or no. do you, no, no, no. No, because there's a, just a lot that, that we would change. I, I, I think that economically. Would they do it? Uh. I usually would. I usually do a breakfast with the owners. Uh, oh, D's gonna ask for more. No, money. yeah, because um, you're so tight with them. Would they do it? I, I think that there's things that they obviously would want differently. I mean, they um, look stadium costs have gone through the roof. Um, most people don't know, but but players have always been in the business of at least partially funding stadiums. Because it's a good return on our investment. What percentage? Is that stadium is that? credits? Those I are stadium I, I, credits. There I picked, you go, baby. See, I picked look, that up for you look, over the years. Look. I'm learning over here. Um, That's like a big power that the pl- the players have, though. Huge. But, huge power. People but, don't realize it. But one thing I changed in the last deal was I put a cap on those. Mm. So one of the reasons that Oakland isn't in Oakland or San Diego isn't in San Diego is um, there is a cap on stadium credits. and And they certainly want... Uh, the funding to continue. I'm not sure that's a good idea uh, from a player standpoint. Um, so I know that you know there's stuff that everybody wants to change. So so, I think so, so the new stadium in Oak or in Vegas where the Raiders are going to play. Right. What percentage of that stadium do the players fund? Uh, it depends on how. M- m- I, it depends on how many credits are going to be available to them for oh, okay. that year. All right. uh, but but look at Los Angeles. I mean, Los Angeles is, I think, right now at about a one point eight two billion dollar overrun. They're looking at four billion dollars for that stadium oh, right now. Jesus! Mm. And everyone goofed on Jerry when he built his for like two billion or whatever it was. Well, and that was part of the point. You know, I don't mind funding stadiums, but at the same time, if if they aren't going to be responsible about how they're going to spend the money. I, I then it ruins your investment. Idea. Can you explain? 100%. Can you explain to people how, because we're dumb, how <laughs> how you guys get the money back? 
So uh, take, just to make the math simple, you, we invest uh, $100 million. Usually it's more than that. But if you invest $100 million of stadium credits into a project, that's money off of the salary cap. That investment is amortized over a eight, 10 year period of time, but a stadium comes on. You start getting a return on your investment, even though you don't have to pay for it ah, for a longer period of time. So it works out for them. Right. And so, you know, a stadium comes online, we get a share of stadium revenue. So you're making an investment. Because um, um, you're promised a rate of return, is that what your it is? money? You yeah, pay because for we, it. you know, we're you loaning them the money, correct? And you are betting on football. Yeah, right. 